to the Batmobile. Let's go. My list, my personal list, yeah. I mean, he's top three. I was reading Batman in the 70s and 80s, and Dark Knight Returns kind of changed the way I thought about comics. The big thing that came out today was uh, Detective Comics 1000 uh, featuring Batman. I think it's only the second comic to reach 1,000 issues. Last year we had uh, Action Comics 1000, which is featuring Superman. And Detective Comics uh, 27, Batman was introduced. Batman. Aesthetically, he is, he's always been dark and mysterious, and I think that appeals to people. And I think another thing is, is that, you know, while you had this world of super-powered human beings or super-powered aliens, you have this guy who's just normal and he solves crimes and fights crimes and for, for justice. And I think that's a, something that appeals to people. They think that maybe I could do that if I had the resources of Bruce Wayne. Usually sometimes the news gets late to the people who aren't into comics. So we'll probably get flooded with calls this afternoon if we have any copies left. I figure we'll probably be sold out by noon today. If you just look at popular culture right now, I mean, comics have been in the middle, at the top, or you know, maybe sometimes underground pop culture for 80 years. And if you look and see how many movies, TV shows, and you know, plot lines are, are taken from comic books, I mean, it is a source material for larger entertainment. And I think that it'll be around another 80 years, maybe not in the form it is right now in paper as much as it is now, but digitally, it'll still be around. Daddy, Daddy.